So someone might have like a 272 and I look at like their work and I'm like, this person really is bad. Holy shit. I'm like, how is this person smart? Or like they're sloppy or they're careless. Or... So why am I saying this? I'll tell you why. Because this must transfer over to how these residencies, how they like hire new interns. So for example, they'll take someone who had like a 273, right? This person's smart. They got a 273. And then they come in and they're like, dude, this fucking person can't write like a patient note. This patient, this person doesn't know how to like do basic like tasks. How is this person smart? It must be the same thing. So this is why like when you hear about like, it's more important to have like, let's say be a team player. It's more important to, you know, they'll take people, people with slightly lower scores if they rotated at that place and demonstrated competency and that they were a team player. Because I was a gunner back in the day and like I had connections with certain people on uh, residencies. Like I was like good friend, like my good friend from tennis team in high school, like his best friend was like a resident at uh, Harvard. And I asked him, I'm like, did you, did you get like a 270? And this is like back in like 2012. That would be like asking today, did you get a 280? Because scores are inflated now. His response to me was, uh, you can get 250s. You just have to be, you have to rotate here and be a team player. That's what he told me. It's like, you must've gotten a 280. It's like, you can get a 260. You just have to like rotate here and be a team player. You know why? Because they've, they've probably taken on interns who like had 270s. And they were like, these people are fucking incompetent. It's not just scores, but the scores get you the interview. It's still competitive at the end of the day. So these things cancel out and you still have to like, st they still have to go by objective metrics. They, they have to.